Hello again, everyone. This is Zombie Kids Rule, and uh, I am trying to get my first video of Steam Deck gameplay. And I'm laughing a little bit because this has been a chore. Um, I, I've been trying to actually record gameplay videos for for ever since I unboxed, and uh, unfortunately, it's not as easy as it is on the One X Player uh, Mini AMD. Uh, on the One X Player, you just open up AB, uh, OBS and you go ahead and start your recording. Then you know, go into Steam and you do what you want to do, play. Then you jump out of Steam and turn off OBS and everything's great. Um, the, you know, there are occasional setting problems and things like that. But with the Steam Deck, um, you can't run OBS from the desktop and then go back into gaming mode. And uh, it shuts OBS off, so you can't record that way. You can't run OBS through Steam and record in game play mode. That doesn't work. Um, I, I did post a solution. Uh, I posted a video of a solution where, yeah, you can run OBS and you can you can launch your games from uh, either the Steam app in desktop mode or the you know from the game icon you know the shortcut. But the problem is is that it the game doesn't have the same controls so there are certain features in uh, gaming mode on the Steam Deck that are are built in which are nice features to have in some of in some of the games and those are not available from the Steam app or launching the game from an, a shortcut from your desktop um, so and some of the games just don't actually load properly that way they play fine in in uh, gaming uh, in gaming mode on the uh, on the Steam Deck, but they uh, they don't play when I try to run them the other way. So, you know, it could have been the games I was trying, but anyway, I am going to try to make this video uh, using this you know this setup, which isn't ideal. I mean, obviously, it's it's not the greatest uh, uh, greatest uh, you know view of the screen. Uh, it's not the I don't have fancy equipment, and and I want to record these without having to buy anything additional. I don't want to have to buy anything else, uh, you know, capture cards or or whatever else. Um, I did try doing crankshaft and recapture uh, that allows you to record in Steam, but there's problems with how length the length of the video, and uh, there's other problems with um, uh, there's no sound. So I tried that and then I uninstalled it. So anyway, here we go. Uh, I am going to try to uh, to record this video. Uh, I want to show Wizardry 6, which is an older game. Uh, it is a mouse and keyboard game. It's from like 1990, so it's uh, it's pretty old. And um, so you know, when I start, it gives me a couple choices, which you know I've, I've loaded it before. Uh, this is going in the DOS box. So. Uh, you know, here's the beginning, and it loads up fine. I'm just going to skip through this, and I get to my first menu, and this is basically add party member, resume, save uh, game, character menu, game configuration, show title, quit game. Uh, this is a very old game. It is mouse and keyboard, so uh, basically using the right trackpad to move the, um, the the pointer, using the right trigger to to select. Uh, and then we'll use the Steam and the X button to uh, enter um, uh, enter any text. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I'm going to go into the character menu, and this is where you create characters. And I've played this game many, many, many hundreds of hours over the years. So we're going to go ahead and create a um, a character. First thing it says is, "Hey, uh, character name." And this is where some of the games have a problem. Uh, I'm going to press Steam and X. And it is going to pull up the keyboard, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead, and uh, this is still taking time to get used to. Uh, we're going to uh, use these double things here. This is this is not the easiest thing for me to use. I'm still getting used to it, uh, but we're going to. And you notice that I can't see where I'm typing, uh, so that's fine. I'm just going to go with zombie, and uh, I'm going to press enter. And now uh, I do. You maybe not be able to see it. It's uh, that ring is kind of in the way, but. Um, and this uh, this is shining on my wrist, but anyway, hopefully you'll be able to see the the, the most important part. Uh, the 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 name is up here, zombie. You probably can't see it. Um, and then it's asking me to uh, to select my race. And there's a bunch. Um, again, you may not be able to see them, but 
uh, human, elf, dwarf, gnome, hobbit, fairy, lizard man, uh, draken, felper, raw wolf, uh, mook, and you basically are able to just uh, select your, your race. It asks for male or female. You can, you can select that. Um, asks you for a profession, which there's actually a lot of professions, but it base, it's uh, based on your, your dice roll of what you got for stats. Um, I'm just going to randomly pick, uh, let's just say pick mage here. And then I have a bonus of seven. I get to distribute those. And the way this is working, again, this is a very old game. Uh, you you have to use. I don't know. Think I don't think I can click on these. Let's find out. No, can't. You can't click on those. You have to actually use these little tiny arrows down here to move um, your options up and down. And once you get on one that you want, you have to use these little arrows right and left to, um, if you can barely see the pointer. Uh, to basically increase or decrease. So I'm doing that. Like I said, this is not the uh, it's not the easiest thing to see, but you can ask, you can see that it's it's running. Um, so once you have once I've done that, uh, you can't use any of these other buttons. They don't they don't really do anything. Um, so I, it allows me to uh, to proceed, and then it's basically rolling karma. It's basically uh, just changing numbers on when I press the uh, enter little enter icon over here it's gonna freeze it that's a three comma that's pretty crappy um, the uh, the little tiny picture here which allows you to uh, again little tiny arrows that you get to uh, cycle through the pictures and again this is a very old game 1990 um, get to the picture that looks like a fairy I'm gonna go ahead and accept it then uh, I have to choose my my skills and uh, there's three screens basically, and if I want to go from screen to screen, I, there's a little button down there that I can uh, that I can maneuver. Uh, one is for weapons, one is for physical, and one is for academia. Um, you know, this is a mage, so they have thematology, and they already have skill points in it. Um, Going to go ahead and get back to another. So this is this can be the the mouse can get a little bit awkward with the the tininess of the of where you have to put it, but Again, it's not uh, it's not too bad. Uh, you you have these little tiny up and down arrow boxes that you uh, that you select, and then uh, r uh, right and left arrows that either add or subtract. And I don't really care. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna save this character. Um, so I have uh, um, I have all these these stats here, and that's pretty much. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. And then because I'm a mage, I have to pick a spell. So um, I'm gonna just pick the fire. And I'm going to go ahead and pick Energy Blast. And then I get to pick another one. I'll go ahead and pick Sleep. And save this character, yes or no. Now, I'm not going to save it. I'm going to say no. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. That's the character creation. It's, uh, it's, it's slow. And I will say that you know, if you don't like the character, you can't just re-roll it uh, and just roll. You have to go through the whole process. So if you, if you want a particular you know, stats for a character, in this old game, Wizardry 6, uh, you go through the whole character generation process, and then if you don't like it, you you say no, don't save it, and then you start all over again. So um, it, it is it is a little slow going if you really want particular uh, stats for your characters. But uh, it the game does come loaded with um, pre generated characters just so you can uh, uh, you can get started right away. I'm going to add party member. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just add the six that they have. You have to do it each time. In Wizardry 6, you have to have a party of at least two. Um, Wizardry, um, I, don't, I can't remember Wizardry 7. Wizardry 8, you can actually play a party of one. You can do a solo run. Uh, Wizardry 6, you cannot. You have to have at least two characters. Um, once you get all your characters uh, added, you, know, there's, you can have up to six. Uh, just You can have a variety of things. You can uh, review characters. Um, you know, you can check them out, see what they have for uh, for equipment, see what their stats are, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, you can uh, equip, you can um, you know check out equipment assay, you can do to check out their skills, what have you. Uh, once you're done, you're uh, let's see, I'm sorry, I'm gonna click exit. Then we're just going to start new game. And now this is interesting. This is a like I said, this is an old game, and uh, it has these little uh, magic word icons. And uh, in the in the original game, you had to look up these icons in the book uh, to type in the right magic 
magic code, you know, or type in the, the right password, if you will. In this game, all you have to do is um, you can try clicking. I'm going to try clicking, and it doesn't do anything. So I'm going to do um, the Steam X, and I'm simply going to press Enter, and that's all that's, all that's required. Um, it doesn't require the actual password. Uh, you just you know press the Enter key, uh, and in, in the Steam Deck, you'd have to do the Steam X button to pull up the keyboard. Uh, and anyway, so it's asking me to do something. Again, this is a uh, this is an old game, so it's it's probably for some people it's it's going to be slow, right? The the gameplay is going to be slow, but uh, I actually I actually like this game a lot. Um, you can't make it go faster. This is just the opening beginning, and uh, you can see your your six characters, and there are some things up at the top here uh, which have to do with spells that you cast. Um, you can, you can, I know it's blurry here, but you can actually read the text. It's no problem. It's nice, nice and large. There's no problem with being able to read. Now, the way you navigate this game is it is, it is 3D. You have to use these, um, arrows down here. There's, uh, either step forward, uh, or you can have turn, right? So there's the turn. And if you, uh, actually press where it says turn here, uh, this cha changes to move, so you can actually just sidestep, or you know, sidestep right, sidestep left, uh, and you can again turn, change it to turn, and that way you can just move it like a regular, um, you know, regular, uh, you know, kind of movement. You, there's no backwards, so you'd have to just turn around, and and that's essentially how you move. So you'd have to you have to use the um, the mouse pointer to uh, to to get where you want to go, okay. Uh, and again, you can use you can change back and forth from move and turn, and um, just you know I've I've played this game a lot, so I know where what there is. Uh, again, it's not hard to read the text; it's very easy, um, and the controls are pretty simple. You do click on things, so if I want to open this treasure chest, I just click on it. Or actually, no, I don't. I'm sorry. Uh, I have to go to uh, here. We go. So, um, oops, oh no, there's an encounter, crap. So here's, a, two rats are attacking me. And so this game, it requires you to tell the, the party, you know, what they're going to do. So my first character, um, you have fight, parry, equip, spell, use, move, run. I'm just going to fight. Uh, the next guy, uh, he's a fighter too, I'm just going to fight. And, oh, crap, that's right, I didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't actually uh, equip my characters, so these guys don't have any weapons on them or any armor, so that's going to be pretty bad. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and fight with him. Uh, this priest, tell me he has a attacking spell. Uh, nope. Well, let's see charm. So we're gonna he's going to cast charm. Oops, you have to click there, click the spell, click the power level. And there's that. Uh, this dude is a mage, so he's good. He can do a spell. We'll kick. Uh, we'll click energy blast. And I uh, hope I don't die here because I forgot to equip my characters. And then this other thing is this other guy is a mage, so he's going to do the same thing. Uh, he's going to do chilling touch and power level one. And they're just going to start fighting. And then it's going to go through. So. That uh, oh, one of my fighters is almost dead. <laughs> so, um, so the whole round goes through, and then a new round will start. And so uh, my fighter is about ready to die. So he's going to uh, let's see, he he will uh, he will parry, and we'll say he's gonna dodge, and then this dude's gonna attack. This dude's gonna attack, and then. Uh, Boy, oh boy, I'm in trouble because I didn't, uh, I didn't set up my game, but that's okay. Uh, and again, so each time, okay, so this is an old game. Uh, some this probably is not for everyone, but uh, you know, like I said, I've played this for hundreds and hundreds of hours. I actually love it. Uh, it's very easy to to manipulate this. Um, um, we're gonna go ahead and try to cast sleep on them. It's very easy to to move this around. Um, if I wasn't, uh, you know, trying to hold this a little awkwardly, it'd be even easier. Uh, we're going to go ahead and collect armor shield, 
I don't have a lot. I didn't create these characters, so uh, so you know I don't. I have uh, I have. Uh, they're not like I would have them normally set up. So let's see if we can. We I healed my guy. And I put him to sleep. So the rats are asleep now. That's good. Um, and two giant rats. I'm, I'm in such trouble now. Uh, so let's let's just do this. I'm gonna run. The funny thing about this game is. Um, when you run, it actually randomly runs you, and then there's a good chance that you might actually run up against. Um, oh, one's dead. You, you might run up against uh, another uh, encounter. So there we go. So um, I managed to escape, uh, but one of my characters died already. What I forgot to do was I forgot to uh, down here. There's this press return for options. And then you have all these party options. Search, review, spell, use, open, order, rest, disk. So that means saving. Exit. And uh, so <laughs> what I forgot to do was go into my party. And uh, these are all grayed out, which means they're not equipped. I have to go ahead and click equip. And then it goes through and it and it has me pick things. So um, I, I click. Uh, it if, I, if there's only one thing to equip for each spot, then that's all you get to choose. And if there's more than one, you ch you choose the you know the one that you want. Um, and your inventory is pretty small in this game, so that's that's one of the problems with this uh, with this older game too. Is you have a, a a smaller inventory of stuff to carry around, uh, and you have to do this for every character. So again, uh, it is an older game, but uh, you can but the the words are easy to read. I, I know they're blurry here on the screen, but these words down here are very easy to read. All of the information about your character is very easy to read. The text um, on the when it displays about things in the game very easy to read. Um, navigation is just right right trackpad and the uh, right um, trigger to to select, and that's it. So the game plays perfectly fine from what I can tell um, on the Steam Deck. Again, old game. Uh, it, uh, I believe it says it's uh, unknown uh, currently right now, I think, last time I checked. And you use the Steam X button to pull up the keyboard so that you can enter. Uh, th this game does require you to enter not just names, but um, on some of the puzzles. Um, this is a very old game. Um, some of the puzzles are, are pretty nasty. Uh, the, uh, you have to like enter uh, words uh, for some of the puzzles. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, go to disk, and then I'm going to not bother to save this because I don't really care. And we're going to quit game, no save. And that takes me back to the title screen, and I'm going to go ahead and quit, and I'm done. So again, uh, Wizardry 6, uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, let's see. Um, I want to say it is unsupported. Or I'm sorry, it's unknown. That's right. So uh, it says it's unknown, but um, from what I can tell, it seems to play perfectly fine. Um, uh, two simple controls, and it uh, it seems to play uh, with no problems at all. Uh, might not be your cup of tea as far as the uh, as far as the age of the game, the the graphics, and uh, maybe how slow it is to do things. Uh, but uh, but hey, I love it, and uh, it's a mouse and keyboard game, and it works perfectly fine from what I can tell on the Steam Deck. So uh, again, you know, this is not the way I wanted to record videos, but um, but this actually is better than uh, than doing the OBS uh, from the desktop because you you do, you don't see the same things, you don't have the same options. Um, uh, one of the nice things about uh, about the the uh, gaming uh, mode. Uh, I didn't have to do it in this game, but uh, I have played some games that where the text is really, really small, and you can press the Steam button and L1, and it magnifies the screen, and you can then use the right joystick to to uh, move around the zoomed in um, zoomed in kind of screen, see what you need to see, read what you need to read, and then you just release the 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 buttons, and you're back in the game, and that works really good. It does not work from the desktop. So if you're trying to play a game on the Steam Deck from the desktop itself, instead of being in gaming mode, that magnifier doesn't work. So that that's a feature that just works in gaming mode. 
Um, so it, again, that's another reason why it's really better to show it this way, even though it's probably not the best uh, best visual. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Um, you know, uh, again, I'll, I'll I'll try to make some of these more vi some more of these videos, um, testing the different games that uh, that uh, that I that I have and and seeing if they're working on the Steam Deck. And uh, you know, like I said, if uh, if if you're a fan of old games, you might like Wizardry Six, uh, Wix Six, Seven, and Eight. I actually love them. And uh, anyway, I hope this helps you. And uh, if these videos are helpful, please like, subscribe, get notifications, leave comments. Uh, love comments, and uh, I will do uh, more of these. Um, you know, as, as I have time, and and I can actually uh, sit here with my laptop running the uh, the video. Uh, on my Steam Deck. So um, anyway, so playing the game on the Steam Deck, but recording off of my laptop. Uh, thanks, folks. I hope you have a great night, and I will see everybody later.